think I have. From the very beginning, when he was first given the job of trying to bring peace to Syria, Lakhdar Brahimi admitted it was a very tough task. He said he didn't want to raise the hopes of Syrians. I'm not in the habit of uh, you know, making grand uh, promises uh, and raising expectations. In a long career, the 80-year-old veteran Algerian diplomat has helped solve some of the world's most complex problems. He brokered the Taif Agreement in 1989 after the Lebanese Civil War and was the UN envoy in the German city of Bonn when a new Afghan government was created after the fall of the Taliban. But after all his efforts in Syria, a period of nearly two years, there's been little progress. The death toll continues to rise. No proper count is being made. Some believe it's over 150,000. The number of refugees has increased greatly. It's now over 2.5 million. But as the fighting continued, international and regional players were slow to react. The momentum was lost. Brahimi's growing frustration was compounded by deadlock at the Security Council, where the major powers have been unable to agree on any new action regarding Syria. He has told diplomats his job became almost impossible when the Arab League stripped Syria of its seat, intending it should go to the opposition. The seat remains unfilled. Every day I wake up, I think I should resign. Brahimi met both sides in the conflict, trying to push for a ceasefire and a transitional government. Both sides made a commitment to sit down together during two rounds of talks earlier this year. Always a realist about the enormous challenge, even he seemed frustrated by the lack of progress. I'm not sure whether I can impose an agenda on people who don't want to, you know, how can you put a gun on, on their heads? Um, you know, it is their country. Uh, this is a huge responsibility they have. There were small victories for Brahimi, an agreement to allow safe passage for civilians from the besieged areas of Homs. But the convoys were attacked. Syria's announcement that it will hold presidential elections in June and the announcement that incumbent President Bashar al-Assad will seek a new term dealt a severe blow to Brahimi's efforts in Geneva with Assad seeking to reassert his control. Like the previous envoy, former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, Brahimi has now quit. If these two, arguably the world's most experienced diplomats, cannot achieve any progress, some are asking who can.